Dropping in the All-Star Weekend, February 2020, the New Beginnings Pack. Everybody's talking about it, but I have a slightly different take on it to most people out there because what I want to do with that pack is take the two shoes in it, the Airship, uh, the Nike Airships and the Nike Air Jordan 1s, and I want to suggest that the Nike Airship is actually the Nike Air Jordan 0 and there's an absolute guaranteed connection between the two shoes and there's a reason for that and you can look at the two shoes and look at the evolution between the two and look at the airships and say right I can see the Air Jordan 1 there uh, but also I can see in the Air Jordan 1 the development and the evolution that came um, and the growth that came out of the airships and that's the kind of take I want to have on this new beginnings pack and what I want to do for you guys today is walk through the individual details on the airships that are brought through to the Air Jordan 1s and then the individual details on the Air Jordan 1 that are developments from the airship and we're going to do all of that using the upcoming release of the Nike Air Jordan New Beginnings Pack. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Des, my Nichi up soon and My Nichi Meeting Design. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, that's no different as we have a look at an upcoming release. But what is different is it's not just one pair of sneakers, it's two, and they come in one box as a set. So it is a pack, the Nike Air Jordan 1 New Beginnings Pack. Uh, and I actually talked about the uh, Nike Airships last year with a YouTuber friend of mine called Scholar Gamer Nerd. So why don't we have a little uh, link right here doing to Scholar Gamer Nerd's uh, channel. Uh, and you know what's interesting? Let's do this, guys. Do this with me. Um, I don't know how many people out there click on those links, uh, but it turns out that it doesn't do anything. Ah, who knew? Uh, it doesn't do anything when you click on those. Now, I, as a watcher of YouTube before I had my channel, uh, I would see those links coming up there, you know, YouTubers talking about previous videos or a link would come up and it would be, you know, something fantastical that was like, oh, I really want to click on that, but I'm already watching this video. Um, but then when I got my own channel, I realized that these links up here, they're called cards, don't actually do anything. And what I would like to do with you guys right now is I want to, to go with a leap of faith. I want you to try trust me and go with a leap of faith and actually click on one of these cards right here. And you'll see what I mean by that, that they don't actually do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link up to uh, a video I did earlier this week, which was the Nike Air Jordan 3 Red Cement, a sneaker I absolutely love. And I would like you to watch the video. And what's going to happen is the link's going to come up here. And if you trust me, if you believe me, you'll click on that link and see that nothing actually happens. Um, because in my experience, whenever I've clicked on those links, what's actually happened uh, is all you get is a menu that shows you other videos that you can connect to, but you don't actually go to the video. I used to think that those things there, as soon as you clicked on them, you were gone from this video and off to another one. But actually all it does is it brings up a menu down here. Um, now that works on PCs and I think it works on um, tablets, but I'm not sure about phones. Uh, so I'll be interested to see if that does work. Now, if you click on this link here and I'm totally wrong, wrong come back and absolutely hammer me in the comments. Uh, I will take it, that will be my fault, my mistake. But what I think is uh, really happens uh, is nothing, it's just that menu comes up here. So leap of faith time guys, trust Tokyo Water 23. I'm gonna put up a link, you're gonna click on it and hopefully what you'll see is just a menu of videos and you won't actually leave me here. So here's the Air Jordan 3 Red Cement. Doing. Hopefully, Y'all out there have been clicking on that uh, and what you've seen is a menu down the side here. Um, and what I want my regular viewers to realize is that they don't need to worry about clicking away from one of my videos. So if you're watching one of my videos and you see a link, you're like, oh, I really wanna see that, but if I click on it, I'll miss out on this video. It doesn't seem to work that way. So hopefully that is how it works and you can let me know in the comments down below whether or not um, you trusted me and whether or not I am right in saying that it doesn't actually take you away from the video. Uh, but anyway, that aside, away from that, let's get into these uh, Air Jordan 1 New Beginnings pack. And like I said, like I, I want to look at the similarities between the Nike Air Ship and the Nike Air Jordan 1 uh, original OGs and how I think those airships are actually um, just a Nike Air Jordan 0. Uh, and what I mean by that is I think Nike realized after shoe number one, which the airships were, was that if they don't have his name on them, they're missing out on sales. 
literally. So, uh, so they're like, oh man, we can't call it Nike Airship 2, Nike Airship 3, Nike Airship 4, because um, then we miss out on the Jordan name, which is going to you know, drive the sales. Uh, so they just, instead of continuing with the Nike Airship name, they just renamed the second shoe. Instead of calling it Nike Airship 2, they called it Nike Air Jordan 1. So that's why I think the airships are actually Nike Air Jordan 0. Uh, and the similarities between the two is why I believe that. So let's have a look at those similarities first. Now there are two places where it really pops out of you and there's a third place where if you look you're like yeah of course. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to look at the toe box on both sneakers. So um, let's start with the Air Jordan 1's classic toe box, one of the most important features of the shoe. Yesterday when I was talking about the Varsity Red, going, uh, I talked about how the, um, the toe box is the character of the sneaker, is the um, it's the heart of the, the Air Jordan 1s. It's the first place people look to see the colorway and to see what's been going on with the sneaker. Uh, and what I want to draw our attention to is the teardrop on the corner of the toe box there. And you, I should have zoomed in in such a way that you can see it right now. Uh, and then if we flip that and have a look at the Air uh, Ships, the Nike Air Ships, you can see the same teardrop tucked away in the corner of the toe box there. And the toe boxes are very, very similar. So that's one place that the Air Ships carry through into the Air Jordan 1. Another place that the airship carries through to the Air Jordan 1s is the lacing system and specifically the lace stays. The lace stays around Air Jordan 1s are famous, famous, are known for a sort of wavy line. So what hopefully you're seeing here is me panning up uh, across the wavy line of the Air Jordan 1s and you can see the kind of, it's not a dead straight clean uh, lacing system or lace stays on there, there's actually a wave to it. Uh, and then if we transfer over to the Nike airships you can see that same wavy line uh, and the thing is it's not just a wavy line it's the same wavy line you know there's a slightly larger kind of bubble up towards maybe the third or the fourth top lace stay um, but other than that it's pretty much exactly the same lace stays as you would have found on uh, the Nike Air ships that you find again on the Air Jordan 1s. Now they're the two places where it's like a carbon copy or a, and you, you can kind of point to one and point to the other and say they're the same. Uh, and the same thing can be said for the midsole and the outsole. And hopefully uh, I'm running through a couple of pictures back here of midsoles and outsoles uh, so you can see and they are just pretty much identical. Um, so that's three different places, quite significant if you think about it. Laces, toe box, midsole and outsole. That's quite a significant amount of the shoe that echoes from the Nike Air ship into the Nike Air Jordan 1. Uh, but then we come into the differences and the evolution and the development uh, parts to the Air Jordan 1 that are different and new. Uh, and the first place I want to go is I want to go up high and up to the ankle section because there are two things up there that were new that weren't on the Air ships. Uh, the first one is an actual top line. If you look at the Air ships, you've got this big red chunk up there, single unit. But then if we flip to the Air Jordan 1s, it's a double unit with an actual top line. And then below that, you've got the strap that comes around. And here's another update that wasn't on the airships. It's the Wings logo, the iconic Wings logo from the Air Jordan 1s that you find uh, right there in black, in this case, on a red um, ankle strap coming outside there. That's a development, that's a change from the airships as I showed you uh, with the top line of the airships from before. Uh, but then if we come down from that onto the heel section of the sneaker, um, the heel cup itself, which was on the airships, which you should be able to see behind me right now, it was part of the upper um, there was no distinction between the heel and the midfoot. There's no defining line. There's no difference in material. There's no difference in layer like height. Um, they, they connected in this way rather than overlapped or overlaid in this way. But then if we go on to the Air Jordan 1s, you can see it's like a unit that's been clipped on the back as an actual section added to the sneaker, uh, which is an update and development from um, the time of the, uh, the Nike Airships. And that leads me on to the final thing to really look at which is the quarter line where you've got the lower part of the lace system kind of tagging down into the upper of the sneaker. Uh, so those last two or three 
um, islets on there and uh, from the lace days coming down. That on the airships, again, same as the heel cup was a uniform part of the sneaker, but then when you look at the Air Jordan 1s, it's a distinct separate part that overlays rather than connects to the rest of the upper. Um, so those are the main kind of elements, the three main elements of where the Nike airships differ from the Air Jordan 1s, uh, and also three main elements where the Nike airships um, are almost identical, if not completely identical to the Air Jordan ones and that is why in my opinion what we're talking about here uh, even though they call it the Nike Airship is actually the Nike Air Jordan Zero uh, the start the beginning where everything uh, started from they are not devoid or separated from the Air Jordan line. Uh, they're not a sneaker in their own right. They're not a unique standalone sneaker, a one-of, uh, just, you know, that uh, an iteration all on its own. It's actually connected to the Air Jordan line in my opinion. Uh, but if you have a difference of opinion, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Or if you're like, everybody knows that butter, what are you talking about? Let me know in the comments down below. I'll be thrilled to hear your opinions about these guys. But for now, that's uh, my total look at the New Beginnings pack, a little bit different from maybe what other people are doing with these guys out there. Um, but this um, All-Star Weekend, woo, man, it's gonna be hot. Uh, it's coming in hard. Um, there's a bunch of stuff coming and it's coming hard. It's coming hot. It's gonna be absolutely fire and these guys, I I think are going to be part of that and maybe even the main part of it I talked about in the Air Jordan 3 video uh, on Tuesday about how I think people are going to focus on these new beginnings so much that those Air Jordan 3s might slip under the radar and you could be getting your hands uh, on a real fine sneaker because people are not paying attention to it as much as they're paying attention to these guys. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with the new beginnings pack but also with those Air Jordan 3 red cements. Uh, I, didn't, I think I mentioned at the start of this video, if I didn't um, then I'll mention it now, uh, that uh, we have this uh, game that we play that brings us a rare sneaker every Sunday. So I drop you hints throughout the week and you try and work out which sneaker is going to come to the channel on Sunday in hand from Shoe Brothers. Massive collection boing, uh, that's uh, well worth checking out. It's a, an amazing collection. And you can check that out at the end of this video. You don't need to click away uh, because now we know how cards work. Um, and uh, so I've already dropped you three hints this week and hint number four is coming today. Now hint number one on Tuesday was quack, quack again. Hint number two on Wednesday was hmm, not track and field. Hint number three yesterday was Grey Suede and hint number four today is Jordan. Jordan, we're talking about a Jordan sneaker. Uh, so if you can put those four things together and work out which rare sneakers come to the channel on Sunday, hit me up with a comment down below. I look forward to seeing one of the cleanest sneakers in the world. This thing is Fire. I absolutely love it. Uh, for now, though, it's time for me to sign off and do what I do at the end of every single video, which is thank you guys for checking out my content. Thank you very much for the attention you pay to me and watching my videos and giving me watch time and all those kind of things. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, for now, though, it is time for me to say farewell for today, say goodbye. Thank you guys for checking out my content. But as I do this every single day, that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.